Okay. Okay, today's topic is prime factorization. Before doing prime factorization, you should have a clear knowledge about factors and prime numbers. What do you mean by factors of a number? For example, factors of 12. Okay, 1 into 12 is equal to 12. 12 ones are 12, right? So, 1 and 12 are the factors of 12. Then we can write 2, 6 are 12. So, 2 and 6 are also factors of 12. Then, 3 into 4 is equal to 12. So, 3 and 4 are also factors of 12. Then, yeah, 12 is divisible by 5? No. So, this much only. So, which are the factors of 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. These are the factors of 12. How many factors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 factors. Okay, 12 has 6 factors. But some numbers have only 2 factors. Okay, for example... Number 2. Okay. Number 2. Which are the factors of 2? 1 into 2 is equal to 2. 2 is divisible by any other number? No. So, which are the factors of 2? 1 and 2 only. Okay. So, 3. 3 is also 1 into 3 is equal to 3. 3 is divisible by any other number? No. So, which are the factors of 3? 1 and 3. Such numbers are called prime numbers. Prime numbers. So, what are prime numbers? Numbers that have only two factors. They are one and number itself are called prime numbers. So, in order to do prime factorization, you should buy her prime numbers up to 10 or 20. So, smallest prime number is 2. Next is 3. Next is 5. Factors of 5, 1 and 5 only. Then 7. 1 and 7 only. 7 is not divisible by any other number. Then it is going on like this. 2, smallest is 2, 3, 5, 7, then 11, 13, like that it is going on. Okay. Now let's do prime factorization. Prime factorization means write the number as the product of prime numbers. Now you have an idea what are prime numbers. Okay. Uh, 18. Let us do prime factorization of 18. First you have to start with the smallest prime number 2. Okay. This is called a short division method. 18 divided by 2. It is 18 divided by 2 short division method. Long division how we will do? 8 divided by 2. 9 twos are 18. Reminder 0. This is long division method. This is short division method. Okay. So, 18 divided by 2. How many 2's are 18? 18 divided by 2 is 9. Again, 9 is divisible by 2? No. What is the divisibility test of 2? If the last digit is 0, 2, 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, the number is divisible by 2. Okay. Here it is 9. It is not divisible by 2. So, what to do? Take next prime number 3. 9 is divisible by 3. So, divide by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now, we got a prime number here. So, we can stop. We can stop prime factorization when we get a prime number. So, which are the prime factors of 18? Prime factors of 18 is 2, 3 and 3. 2 into 3 into 3. Okay. This is a small number. Let us take a big number also. One more example. Okay. If you have any doubt, you can comment here. You will get the answer. And now, 100. Let us do prime factorization of 100. We have to start with the smallest prime number 2. 100 is divisible by 2 or not? How will you check? 
last if last digit is 0 2 4 6 or 8 the number is divisible by 2 last digit is 0 so it is divisible by 2 100 divided by 2 if you don't know you should do long division find out 100 divided by 2 how many 2 since 10 5 5 2 is 10 subtraction 0 0 bring down 0 if you brought down a number then also it is less than the divisor what to do put a 0 here okay so what is the answer 50 100 divided by 2 is 50 again 50 is divisible by 2 or not it is divisible last digit is 0 so it is divisible by 2 so 50 divided by 2 again you have to do 50 if you don't know like this way you have to divide and find out 50 divided by 2 50 divided by 2 is 25 again 25 is divisible by 2 last digit is 5 if last digit is 0 to 4 6 or 8 it is divisible by 2 it is not divisible by 2 so take next prime number 2 next prime number is 3 it is 25 is in the multiplication table of 3 no so it is not divisible by 3 next prime number is 5 25 is divisible by 5 so take 25 divided by 5 is 5 plus we got a prime number here 5 is a prime number so we can stop so prime factorization of 100 is 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 this is a prime factorization of 100 i hope you all enjoy the class subscribe the channel for getting uh, useful videos in maths thank you for watching